Emerson conducted a recent survey and determined that Americans who feel that maybe food in the fridge has gone bad are determining this a couple of different ways. 75% of us use our nose, that sniff test. From there, 50% of us are using our eyes, right? If it looks wrong, you know, if it's changed color or something doesn't look right. But 25% of Americans are brave and they're actually taste testing their food to determine if it's gone bad or not. A lot of people aren't sure what difference it makes if you put food into a disposer or into a trash can. But food waste that goes into a trash can heads straight into a landfill. Now from there, this volume of food is sitting and breaking down. It's releasing a lot of methane gas, and this contributes to global warming. The simplest change that we can all make is to think before we throw food scraps in the trash. The best place for our food waste is actually in a disposer in your sink. From here, they grind up, head into your plumbing, and go into a wastewater management system or a septic system. And a wastewater management system is an environmentally friendly way to break down food. There's a few myths around garbage disposals that people might not know. First things first, there are actually no blades in a disposer. There are two little pieces in there called impellers. Now they're taking your food scraps, pushing them all around the outside of your disposer. There are little tiny holes there and they grind up your food waste, kind of like a cheese grater works. From there it runs through your system. Another great myth is that there are a lot of foods that shouldn't go in your disposer. Many things can go in a modern disposer, like an Emerson in Sinkerator Evolution model. This newer model can deal with just about anything. You can put in things like a corn cob, apple cores, even banana peels. As long as you run that cool water, they're all set to go. The two things you want to avoid though, you don't want to pour in any fats or any oils. Believe it or not, one in five Americans aren't throwing barbecues this summer because they hate the cleanup. But I think all of us can make a couple of good environmentally conscious choices and simplify our parties. One of the easiest way to do that is in advance, set up bins and then label them properly. One that says food waste, another one that says recycling and one that says trash. At the end of the party, you can take the food waste bin straight into the kitchen, run some cool water, and dispose of all your food scraps. It's actually a simple way that you can help the environment and sort of tell your friends that you're working on that too. The best place to find out more about disposers is in Sinkerator.com. These guys invented the disposer, and it's a wonderful spot to learn about the environmental benefits of using a disposer over putting food scraps in a landfill.